Before we begin troubleshooting VTP problems, let's look at troubleshooting from a generic perspective. Whenever we face a networking problem, we should first analyze the normal or predictable behavior of the network. We can confirm normal behavior from documentation and configuration. We can also use the output from show and debug commands. Next, we should try to isolate the cause of the problem, specifically the parts or devices of the network that are not showing the predictable behavior that we expect. After we have isolated the problem, we need to identify the root cause. The last step is to fix that specific problem. So this generic procedure helps us fix the network problems and not just the symptoms of the problems. 